Yo, what's up guys? It is your girl here. I am back with another video. It's Thursday. I did not forget about any of you. Um, I know it's been a little crazy the past couple of days, the past couple whatever. Um, I like I, I think I'm going to just switch my timing when I post videos. It's going to be on Tuesdays and, 30, t Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today is Thursday. Um, today was a little crazy. I had to run out to a job site, you know, still got to make money. Still got to go to work, you know? So, uh, it was kind of a good feeling to get out of the house a little bit instead of always being crapped up in the house like I've been. So guys, I uh, promised you that I would do another dip review. I already have my dip in. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this. I probably have mirror mode on. Uh, we got our outlaw sweet, uh, Southern sweet tea. Okay. Um, I'm also using one of my other mud jugs finally. This is my little roadie one. This is also one where you can put your dip can down in the bottom here. And if you want to like cut this, cut the lid open, you got yourself a little way to cut the can. If for some reason you don't have nails to cut the can open itself, this little bugger does the trick. And my dog's going to start his stuff up here. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? So, um, so my review on Outlaws uh, Southern Sweet Tea, the smell of it is absolutely amazing. It's like getting a sweet tea somewhere, okay? But we don't have what is called Southern Sweet Tea up here in uh, this lovely state of, you know, Pennsylvania. It's just sweet tea, but I am, you know, my family is all over the place, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, somewhere down South and South Carolina, stuff like that. They've got the actual sweet tea that probably actual Southern sweet tea. Okay. So I love the taste of it. This tastes amazing. I was dying to try this one because for some reason, when I saw the Southern sweet tea, I'm like, I gotta have that. I gotta try it. And uh, I'm glad that I got it. Finally. I got two cans of it. So this is the first one I've cracked open. So I am still actually dipping my other stuff. You know, I still have my Lucky Lipper that I'm still doing. I still have uh, my Copenhagen Wintergreen. Like you guys know, I love my Copenhagen Wintergreen. That's my favorite one. Uh, so we are coming to you. From a different angle in this you know living room type deal i hope it's all right i know the background's probably not the best maybe if i turn on the light maybe if the light's not too uh oh there we go got some more lightage over here maybe i don't know so uh i gotta remember that i flipped the camera here today my dog's still looking my cat so there's too much distraction going on here i was gone all day so he's like oh my god you're home so i'm gonna start acting like a little butt, you know? Stop licking his bottom. Let me just shut. I know we got the little flag on the side here if you guys ever wanted to uh, know I'm very patriotic sometimes. I love our country. Anyway, um, <laughs> back to the dip review. Um, I was asked the other day, do I get a buzz off of this? I don't think they asked me specifically in the comments but they asked me like we have each other's phone numbers mike i don't get a buzz off of this um i don't there uh, from what i read mistake me if um correct me if i'm wrong i might be mistaken but i don't think there's much tobacco in here there is a little bit tobacco to get your fixing but i don't think there's a whole lot of nicotine in this stuff i was trying to read his website the other day just correct me if i'm wrong but um anyway you know what i mean so his i love the smell sorry i love the smell of it the smell of it i gotta remember the camera's right here i love the smell of it okay the taste of it it's like i want to it's like i want to swallow it <laughs> um This is a really stupid video now that I'm thinking about it, talking about this, you know? 
I'm just trying to come up with some more ideas for my dip videos, you know. I'm Just today I was at work and I was thinking about what am I going to do with my videos here. Like, I want to have fun. So, I have a few different endeavors that I do, guys. Not just dip videos. Um, I like to sing. I know in the past couple videos that I've done, I think prior last year when I put up a few, I was singing in some of them. And then I get right into my dip video. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing something along the lines of starting my music stuff back up because I do play guitar and I do sing and a friend of mine said you should crack this stuff back up again and start doing it because this is another avenue that can probably bring in something and I believe that's correct. I should do that. Um, it's better to be diverse than in, I can't begin to tell you guys how many times I've heard about being diverse. Diversity. Always have several different other routes that you can do besides just one thing. And it's very true. I was out working last weekend uh, with my second job. We were out serving a property and this guy comes out, the guy that we were serving his property, he is in real estate, but he just does not sell houses. He does house flipping. He does other ways of real estate. He's in that line of that niche of real estate, but he also does different other niches in that real estate list. So he's a, I thought he said like a broker. He is a house flipper. He is a, uh, a real estate agent. So then the next day, I think it was Sunday, maybe it was Monday or something. I heard about being, the, being diverse again. So I'm like, all right, cool. This is going to make me feel like I need to get back into this world of being diverse. So this is where I'm going to come up with an idea of making maybe another YouTube channel channel, or maybe making a Facebook page or something that I can try to do something with my music now. Because in this day and age, we just got to come up with different ideas. Don't get me wrong. I do love doing my dip videos, but I think I'm going to start um, doing an actual schedule for my videos now. Instead of trying to pack them all in one week's worth of time, it's not a good thing. Um, I want to bring you guys back more and more and more and more. And I want you guys to have some fun with these. Um, I believe we're going to have some more dipping and driving videos. They are coming. So I was thinking about that this morning. I woke up a little too late to do it, but I'm ready to do that again. Tomorrow I'm going to be driving out again. And I think it's time for another dipping and driving video. You know, why not? Um... So I'm, I'm really getting excited for that. So I know you guys do miss my dipping. I know you guys do miss my dipping and driving videos. Excuse me. I got like the hiccup type deal going on now. Um, I want to do more editing into my videos here because sometimes I do talk too much and then I stumble over my words. I think. Sometimes I do. Anyway, so my review on Outlaws Southern Sweet Tea, if you guys have yet to try it, I suggest you try it. If you're into that, uh, go check out his website. I will leave his website down below. Uh, go check out his channel. He is a funny guy. He, I think he has two channels now, or he's had two channels, and I just never realized what his second channel was. It was Outlaw Outdoors, and I watched one of his videos the other day completely awesome guy. I cannot believe this, this guy is, he's amazing. So, uh, definitely go check out his videos, go check out his website for his dips. Um, I think he might have some other products on there. Uh, like those pop sockets I saw there, they are neat looking. I'm not going to say they're cute, but they're neat looking. Okay. <laughs> I know my last video the other day, I said they were cute looking. Um, they're neat looking because I think they're cool. So I'm going to be looking into more dip to try for y'all. I can't wait to do that. And uh, I will let you guys know when I start up my music side. Um, I'll let you guys know when that comes about. And uh, stay tuned because I'm excited. This is going to be a great, fantastic new turnover for me. And this is going to be fun. So I thank you guys for always watching. Thank you to, I got a new subscriber I noticed today. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to everybody who's been sticking with me onto my channel. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like. Give me comments down below. I may not always comment you back, but I always read your comments.
all the time. I know I'm a very busy person with having a full-time job and having a part-time job and trying to keep on top of my videos, but this is the avenues that I'm going into. I'm having fun doing them. So, oh, and one more thing. If you guys are interested in looking into one of these type of mud jugs, they hold about seven ounce. Um, I will leave this, this, um, this link down in the description box as well as this video so you guys can go check this out. Remember, if you are looking for something that you may not have nails to cut these open, you can stick that right in there, turn it around, and the little edges on the bottom here, there's little edges down here, it will cut your can open for you. So, that's it for this dip video. I will catch you guys in my next one. Have a great afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. And uh, thank you for thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later.